the work and twice the money. This is what we're talking about today. People want to sell. Do you think, you know, Jeff Bezos is worth $100 billion because of Amazon today. Do you think he's worked 100 billion times harder than you? No. He's doing less work every day. And he might work hard. Obviously, he works hard. But he's not working 100 million times harder than you, right? He's make, made 100 million more than you, times more money than you. But the point being is he's learned the fine art of half the work, twice the results. And that's why I'm so excited. Whether it's the hat business, the t-shirt business. I told you, my business partner's son is selling t-shirts, Christian t-shirts that are all, he sells them on Facebook ads. This year, while he's, he, I think he's either 14 or 15, he's in whatever grade that is, eighth or ninth grade. What grade is that in? Ninth grade? 10. And you're 15, 14? He made 500 grand. He's made more than probably almost all the teachers combined. If he goes to a small private school where there's only 10 teachers, I don't know if he goes to public or private, he'd make more money than all the teachers combined while he's at school. You see what I'm saying? Somebody said there's no shortcuts. Um, I wouldn't say that. Is that true? When People say, Ty, there's no shortcuts. Let's think about that real quick. Is it true there's no shortcuts? There's never a shortcut to driving somewhere, right? You always have to go the long way that every, because somebody just made, this is a common cliche that people say. They say there's no shortcuts. Yeah, there you go. Somebody said, wait, Ty, there's a ton of shortcuts. Yeah, that's why they call GPS. That's what they call Waze. You ain't never heard of Waze? It's called shortcuts. When everybody's going on the freeway and there's an accident, you don't go that way, you take the shortcut. Right? People say there's no such thing as get rich quick. Kind of true, kind of false. Last year, a guy built a company called Jet.com and in nine months he sold it for $3.2 billion. Is that get rich quick? Zero to 3.2 billion? That seems get rich quick, but it's not get rich overnight. I've never seen somebody, unless they win the lottery or they get signed from high school to play pro basketball, usually you don't get rich overnight. but there's people who get rich quick. Now, I don't think you should always try to play the lottery or become an athlete, but let's give another example. The guy who started Instagram, Kevin Systrom, in three years, he sold it for a billion dollars. Is that get rich quick? I mean, it feels like it is. The guy who started Snapchat before, by the time he was 24 years old um, was a billionaire. Is that get rich quick? Seems like it is. Uh, Kylie Jenner sold $430 million worth of makeup in 18 months. That seems like get rich quick. But in the sense, that's why I said, in a sense, get rich quick isn't true. But in a get rich quicker, this is a better way to think about it. Get rich quicker. You don't have to go super, super slow. Um, but some of you will. The guy who started um, Priceline, what's the, what's that one, is it Priceline? Where you like shop for airplane tickets? He made a billion dollars in one year. That seems pretty fast. So I don't think you should try to get rich overnight at the, but I will tell you, I don't think you should listen to people that say there's no shortcuts. People have lots of shortcuts. Okay, so just like when you use Waze or when you use Google Maps, you get there faster. That's what this is today that I'm showing you. I'm literally laying out for you. I started doing Google AdWords in 2001. When I was a teenager, I started as an entrepreneur. I'm literally showing you guys like stuff that took me a decade to learn. And some of you are going to learn that and some of you aren't. This is for those of you who are ready to learn that. Okay? So, 